I am so excited about this rematch. Hey, Luke Silla. Go! And the raw power of Sock Team. Thailand versus Cambodia. Sock Team early on with the inside flying kick. Look out for the succulent combination. The exquisite technique of Luke Silla. Going to be how we change things up. We want to soften the body so the head's gonna fall. It's so hard to land a clean blow on Lutzilla, but if anyone can do it, CT can. Front kick there from the Cambodian Cook to my champion. Lutzilla stakes through that right hand. Play pitch up now. Top two with the knee. Lutzilla goes to the bread basket. Fires out a front kick. Well, you gotta wonder, does Lord Zilla have the same eyes that he had you know, when he was younger, when he was competing at Rachtaman at 37 years old, like Clean right hand connected to the jaw of Sock Team and just shrugged it off. Nice little leaping for can there from Sock Team. Throws a right hand of his own. Both in an orthodox start. There's the right hand from Lord Zilla. Measures him. Outside leg kick from Sock Team. Got to get off the fence here. The Cambodian. And he does now. And measures him again to Lord Zilla. Two punch combination Sock Team. And there's not a lot of movement going on. These guys are staying so tight, so close together, just trading shots. Beautiful little dipping little shot there from Lutzilla. Then goes upstairs. Forearm guard though from Sop T. No feeling our process in the opening round. Elbow from Lutzilla. Front kick to the midsection. These two have opened up at a cracking pace. Toe to toe. No real movement. They're just trading blows. Seeing who gets the opening, who can capitalize. Lutzilla needs only a minute opening. Just the tiniest of cracks in the defense of Sock T. Sock T, uppercut elbow. Step through knee there from Lutzilla. Sock T goes to the outside lead front. That common coronial nerve just above the lead knee. See how Lutzilla measures with the lead hand. The chin is tucked. He's looking through the brow. Oh, beautiful question mark kick there from Lutzilla. It looked like it was going to the legs. Then it loops around. It arcs up to the head. Double jab from the Mayweather of Muay Thai. And a beautiful counter right hand from Lord Silla. The little angles, the pirouettes. The tiny intricacies of Lord Silla, Phuket top team. Right hand lead there from Lord Silla, the jab. Gets out of the way of the counter strike. This is just beautiful to watch from Lord Silla. Moi for Mo as it's known. Beautiful Muay Thai. A crossing elbow from Lord Silla. And a jab again. Sock T trying to get on the inside, but Luke Silla just kept it up. He's just running from the top. Outside leg kick, this is the target from Sock T. Not the explosive start, but Sock T wants it. Luke Silla controlling him in the opening round, I feel. Downward elbow to the shoulder there from Sock T. And there's one round down. Now, folks, once again, three judges are split on tiny setup that Lurdzilla's doing. He's faking one thing, get you thinking about it, and then he's coming back with something else. Little my. Unofficially, and once again, unofficially, I'll give the first round 10-9 to Lutzilla. Wherever you're scoring at home, remember, the more dominant boxer gets 10 points, the less dominant boxer gets 9 points. Unofficially, how do you have that one, mate? 10-9, Lutzilla. Beautiful point. Early on there from Sock That's what Sock needs to do. He can't sit there and get mesmerized by Lutzilla's movement. He's got to go. He's got to shift up a little bit. Switch kick there from Lutzilla. Switch kick is when you take your lead leg and switch it to the back. Throw it as a real leg roundhouse kick. Then jump dead, set through the cage, chance for the knees. Lord Zilla, nice trajectory on the right knee. Trying for a dump Go. there with Sock T. Two punch combination from Sock T. Lord Zilla lines up the right cross. That took there from Sock T. Should have thrown the right hand the company. Kicks down to the liver section. Lord Zilla stepped through knee, trying to go through the forearms. Measures with the left. Step through there again from Lurzilla. His beautiful right knee smack back to the guts of Sock T. Sock T back against the cage now. Lurzilla goes to the liver, then goes to the head. Sock T a short knee off the right leg. We are seeing the pace increase even more here in the second round from both of these warriors. And referee Ona breaks them. And you have time rule set. You are allowed to clinch for as long as you like, so long as you're staying busy. You must continuously be or throw the elbow, or else referee will break it. See it there from referee Odari. Go! What a second round match. Not good from Sock I like how Godzilla is using that, that range finder, that, that left hand, just to kind of palm the forehead of Sock T so he can create a little bit of distance. It impairs, it impairs the vision of Sock T so he can't see what's coming next. What is really coming to play in this round that is putting down the points for Godzilla are the knees. And again, he connects. Knee 
into the little room gate at Sock Team. Here's one from the Cambodian. Big hello to all of our fans in Thailand watching on Thailand TV, Channel 32. Also, those in Cambodia, I know they're not watching the One Super app. They will be out of their seats at the moment, shooting on Sock Team. I took there from the Cambodian, another knee to the right side of the body from Moon Silla. Hitting that right side of the body down around the abdomen and the ribs, yet targeting the liver. Such a vascular area. Strike clean for the liver could cause a delayed reaction. Certainly is the most painful form of knockout in combat football. Oh, beautiful jump there from Sub T! How do you do? That was so sharp, so quick from the youngster. Tries for it again. 15 seconds remains. This has been an absolute ripper of a rematch so far. But Silla's brought the knees in. A fantastic dump from Sokte. Jab from Lernzilla. Right hand lead for the tie. Grooving and moving. Two rounds down and one remaining. And the score folks, wherever you're watching live. It's a one super series Muay Thai clash. It's the rematch. Lernzilla and Sokte. Look how he puts the hand out there. He creates a little bit of space. And it's really hard for Sokte to answer it. He's not able to do anything. Lernzilla just keeps putting out there with the hand. There was that a second attempt at a dump right there from Sok T, but Sok, uh, Lord Zilla was wise to it. Sok T to do now. Both men said they did not want it to go down to the judges. Let's see if they get a finish. Yeah, the H-Gore closes. Zilla has thus far. Sok T is tucking up a little. Do it here in the third. Nice need to open up for Lord Zilla. I kick Sok T defends. I kick again Lord Zilla. You see Rodzilla in every round bringing a different weapon to the fore. Okay, here in the third round already you're seeing the roundhouse kicks. The second round it was the knees, first round it was the hand. It's amazing the way he changes it up and he dominates. That's what makes him one of the best in the world. But so he's got to change things up. He can't sit there and play his game. He can't stand in front of there and let so, uh, let Rodzilla palm his face and create the move. Oh, have a look at that! What a dump and a sweep from Rodzilla! Point A, one on one there from the Brent Lenzilla, throws the knee to the liver. Comes forward, Sock T trying to drop that downward elbow onto the clavicle of Lenzilla. The collarbone, jab two from the tie, step through knee, hands around his waist, make it look easy. Sock T eats the jab, outside of the kick from the Cambodian. Beautiful two punch combination, Lenzilla. Just a Aesthetically beautiful performance to watch from Lutzilla, who gets up to. Wherever you're watching this one, in 138 countries around the world, you've got to be marvelling at it. There's that question mark kick, that Brazilian kick from Lutzilla, who gets up to. We're starting to see Sok T start to move forward. He's starting to be a lot more aggressive. He's not letting Lutzilla play his game, except landing those one-two punches right there. And Sok T swing the pendulum now. This one looks like he needs a knockout. He needs to knock out Lerzilla if he wants to take this. Sok T trying to employ the elbows. Does have smashing elbows on him, the Cambodian. Lerzilla's movement is just superb. So slick, so evasive. Counters. Hard to handle in all aspects of Lerzilla. Who gets Sok T? Of course, it's not his birth name, but ties to adopt their gym name as their last name. Once you hear the likes of what's it like, Fair Tex. Here you see Lutzilla pick at top team. 30 seconds of the rematch remains, and Lutzilla is oozing with confidence. Let's see if Sock T can corner him here. Let's see if Sock T can cut off the cage and land one big boom shaka like But look at the dancing, look at the grooving from a confident Lutzilla. He smiles, Lutzilla. He says he can't hurt you with these knees. Is there a big elbow left from Sock T? They're going to go down the judges, I believe. Final second of the third and final round. It's been a corker here in Jakarta. Lutzilla eats an outside tie kick, and we've gone down to the judges again. How are you scoring, folks, wherever you're watching around the world? And look at the martial arts spirit, the respect, the honour, the Bushido code here in one Super Series. The second match, the rematch, wasn't as close as the first one, but look at the knees to the body. That was the story in the second round. Was Lerzilla attacking the body with the knees, scoring heavily? There's a big 
dump and throw it. Check out the hand. Look at that beautiful jab right up the middle. This contest in favor of your winner by unanimous decision from the Red Corner, Ancilla Bouquet Top Team. It was another fabulous performance from one of the all-time greats. And look at the sportsmanship, look at the respect being paid. Lutzilla Phuket top team, a unanimous decision in the rematch against Cambodia's soft team. Folks, when we return, world champion Edward Falaya. 130 martial arts world champions in the world championship roster, two of them in the circle at the moment. Let's see for some more pepper, some more get up and go. This is Saruta, body punches here from Pasha. Saruta turns him around against the fence and drives the corky knees into the thighs. So Pasha turns the champion. Place the hand there on the knee to stop any retaliation from the knees from Pasha. Body shot from Pasha, got in quick, got out even quicker. I think from Saruta. Pasha. Up in center circle here. Set the jab. Saruta does have some damage under the right eye. Courtesy of that lead hand of Pasha. Reveling on the lead thigh and shin calf area of Pasha. Courtesy of the leg kicks for the champion. There's another one. Fourth round of five. Jab to Pasha. And then Mitch gets in quick. Gets out. This is the oh, Pasha we expected to see. Oh. see those, flat, those fast blitzes bop up in and out. So we're just kind of getting hypnotized by it. Now he's starting to come forward. Mitch, if the match was stuck right now, who would you have a hit? And after the first round with the knockdown, <laughs> Saruta, Saruta, oh, landed on Saruta. Now, big round, now, big first round knockdown, but now I'm starting to see the second, third round, Pasha starting to inch forward. I think he's more aggressive, I think his striking superiority's there. That's a hand right counter from Pasha. After the war, nice left hook. From Saruta, under three minutes remains, penultimate round of action here. Certainly seeing some heavier artillery being launched now by both of these world champions. In the first match, we did not see Saruta do a kickboxing match with Joshua Pashiao. He was going for takedowns. He was mixing things up. He was inside the clinch, wearing on Pashiao. Now all he's doing now is just striking with him the last couple rounds. But to answer your question, if the match was stopped right now, I might give a slight edge to the Team Lakai athlete. Oh, Look at this head kick. I think that reminds me of the Edward Kelly gets Bob Bowles, like knee slash head kick, just starchy. Beautiful head kick, the walk off, K.O. And 43 seconds in the fourth round for your winner by way of knockout. And